Hi everyone, Ken Graham here. I want to take this opportunity to introduce you to Ensemble Fluency Training, developed as recommended by the Probabilistic IDSS Initiative. This training is essential for moving all of our meteorologists and hydrologists forward in understanding and using ensembles and probabilistic data. We're all aware that it's important to give decision makers the full story behind potential weather, water, and climate events, including the probabilities of various scenarios. To do that, all of you need to have a strong foundation for understanding probabilistic data that comes from ensembles. Being ensemble fluent will give our meteorologists and hydrologists a basic ability to speak the language of ensembles and probabilities when discussing potential forecast outcomes. For this training, we wanted to match your operational tools as much as possible. You'll use tools and visualizations like DESI, What's Up, and HEFS to help connect the training with the tools in your workflow now. Throughout the training, you'll also see how various ensembles and blends might or might not resolve meteorological phenomena, like the ECMWF going to 9 kilometer grid spacing, and the national blend of models combining multiple different model resolutions. Knowing what ensembles and blends cannot resolve is important, because that is where our expertise as meteorologists and hydrologists is critical for probabilistic IDSS. Not everything will be new to everyone, but I encourage you to take advantage of the opportunity to learn a few new things and refresh yourself on this important information. You may have heard me already say, all of our meteorologists and hydrologists, this training is so important that we're asking all of you to participate. We need everyone to speak the same language when it comes to ensembles and probabilities. This is just the start. New tools, visualizations, techniques, and improvements in the models will require additional training as we move towards a more nimble, flexible workforce, and we're keeping an eye to eye on opportunities to help everyone improve their skills so we can continue to provide our partners with the information they need to make informed decisions. Good luck, and we'll see you again soon. Howdy, and welcome to the Ensemble Fluency Training Curriculum. I'm meteorologist and master instructor Jason Jordan with the Forecast Decision Training Division in Boulder, Colorado, and the lead developer for this training. The probabilistic IDSS KINS 10 team identified a critical need for all meteorologists and hydrologists in the National Weather Service to have a foundational understanding of ensembles and ensemble methodology and how that applies to probabilistic forecasting and probabilistic IDSS. In my first 20 years of working at WFOs, I was accustomed to choosing a single forecast outcome from several deterministic models. However, over the past 10 years or so, we've seen a shift towards the use of ensembles and ensemble methodologies to produce probabilistic forecasts and probabilistic IDSS. Navigating this change has been challenging. Therefore, I undertook the role of developing this training alongside a team of subject matter experts. Our primary objective is to equip you with the skills to interpret ensemble data effectively and understand their role in producing probabilistic output used in probabilistic IDSS. This foundational understanding will empower you to analyze ensembles and probabilistic forecasts, thereby providing critical decision support services. Our aim is to illustrate how comprehending ensembles and probabilistic data can enhance the National Weather Service's ability to deliver accurate information and IDSS to our partners. There's been a noticeable acceleration in changes within the modeling community, with many international meteorological organizations, such as ECMWF and the UK Met Office, transitioning away from deterministic model forecasts towards purely ensemble-based predictions. This slide from a UK Met Office presentation at the 9th NOAA Ensemble Users Workshop underscores the shared challenges in this transformative journey. The statements from the UK Met meteorologist and their partners resonate with our own experiences. Another concern may be that employing ensembles and probabilities to describe alternative scenarios is merely a way of hedging. Statements such as, our partners prefer a single value and the timing of its occurrence are not uncommon. However, social science studies demonstrate that probabilistic information and alternative scenarios enable better decisions. We are already observing these benefits from our partners, as evidenced by this letter. You can pause the video here to read this letter from one of our partners. When we speak of fluency, 
we refer to the ability to converse effectively in a given language. Fluent speakers comprehend and articulate what they read, hear, or observe. Similarly, ensemble fluency necessitates understanding ensembles, statistics, and probabilities, enabling dialogue with fellow meteorologists, hydrologists, and partners. While there may be moments of terminological confusion, the underlying message is clear. This is why we emphasize three key areas. Firstly, a quick refresher on terminology and statistics is essential as ensemble data requires processing that relates it back to meteorological parameters and presentation formats. Secondly, we discuss resolvability, transitioning into an era where mixed model resolutions are blended. For example, the national blend of models that we can see in the DESI or WSUP viewers, affecting the resolution and detection of meteorological features in blended or individual ensemble systems. Lastly, a section on available tools for viewing ensemble and probabilistic data is provided. We deliberately use examples from tools currently used by the National Weather Service in 2024, allowing concepts to be linked to what you encounter daily. This training will not delve into communicating probabilistically, a topic covered in previous training on the Comet MedEd site. Look in the Resources tab for a link to that training. Ensemble fluency training was developed to benefit all National Weather Service meteorologists, hydrologists, and scientists, regardless of experience level, from newcomers to those with decades of experience. We understand that some of this material may be familiar, having been covered in your office, university, previous employment, or other training modules. Therefore, each module begins with a choice. Take a pretest or proceed directly into the lesson. If you take the pretest and score 90% or higher, you will receive credit for that lesson and bypass the training video and post test. This high threshold ensures mastery of the material. Should you not pass the pretest or wish to proceed directly into the training, click on the lesson button to advance to the slide with the lesson video. After the next slide loads, you will see a short video that is stored on YouTube that you will need to click on to start playing. This was done to allow you to go back outside of the CLC to review videos as needed, to provide lessons to external partners such as universities and colleges, and to provide some additional control for you, the trainee. Two key things to remember. The first is that the videos are recorded in 4K resolution to allow for the best clarity if you want to put the training video up on a large screen TV. You will need to select that resolution if it looks like things are not clear on screen as you two will default to the lowest resolution, gradually working up to the best resolution to determine if your browser can handle it. Second, you will have the ability to slow down the video in YouTube if the pacing is too fast for you, or even pause it at points where you want to explore closely. The lesson will know when you are done with the video and the next button will highlight once the video has completed. From there, you will head into a post-lesson test which you will have two attempts to pass with a score of 80%. If unsuccessful, you may return to the CLC and restart the lesson with your scores recorded until you pass the post-test. Passing the pre-test exempts you from the post-test. Our objective is to not only save you time by allowing you to test out of the lessons, but also to enable the Forecast Decision Training Division to evaluate how well our training meets its objectives. We will examine this data to improve future training. From this introductory video to the final lesson should take you about six hours if you're not able to test out of any of the lessons. We hope a lot of this material is already familiar to you. Additional resources will be available from your training officer for you to be able to explore any of the material covered in the lessons to a deeper level. With that being said, let's get you started into the Ensemble Fluency Training Curriculum.